So this is what we've been discussing a while ago on how we will be applying the hydrodynamic pressure using the plane planar loads. So next would be the earthquake force. So technically, the our softwares are designed to have automatic seismic loading using different seismic parameters, but for building structures only. Since we're dealing with non-building structure, this may give uh, different results. So in Midas, we can have an option to convert nodal inertia to nodal loads. So going to the structural model, we first uh, select the loads, then click the dynamic loads, and create a response spectrum function. So we will be adding a response spectrum function. So we will be creating our own response spectrum. So we will be designing spectrum. Since this is located in the Philippines, we will be using UBC 1997. So we will be using a user-defined seismic coefficient calculation option or option of automatic. So we'll be using the data for automatic. So since this project has, uh, although this project is located in the Philippines, since we already have a site-specific data for this project, we will be using IBC 2009 or the ASC 705. So we'll be putting a side class of D, then a special acceleration of site specific of 1.46 and 0.66. So we'll be changing the values of FA and FV to value of 1 since this uh, soil coefficient is already uh, incorporated in site specific data. So we'll be using importance factor of 1.25 and a response modification factor of 3 for tanks. So we'll be just using the maximum period of 6 and the long transition period of 4 seconds. So click OK. Then we will see now the response spectrum to be used. Then we'll click OK. After which, we'll be using the response load cases. Then the load case will we'll say EQX, no, the direction will be X, then the excitation angle is zero since we'll be acting it on the X direction. Then the scale factor will be I over R, which is 1.25 over 3. Then the period modification factor is also 1. We'll be clicking the function name of our spectrum, then we'll be applying the damping method. So the dumping method for steel tank is 0 0.02. Then we'll click OK. Then we'll click the correction by dumping ratio and maintain the interpolation of logarithm. Then we'll not needing to click the accidental electricity and we'll click add. Then click close. After adding it, we'll be needing to run the analysis. So after running the analysis, for presentation, we already run this program. So we'll be showing you the results of the inertia from the response spectrum. So going to the results table, clicking the nodal results of response spectrum. So clicking the spectrum load case earthquake X. We will be needing all the modes, so we will not be clicking any modes. Then we will be display, see, displaying all the nodal forces on all the nodes. So this, instead of just applying it on a nodal inertia, we will be converting this nodal inertia to nodal loads by clicking the right click, convert to nodal loads. Then click the spectrum load cases, then converting it to earthquake X for our earthquake, then click OK. So of course the analysis will be deleted since we are uh, incorporating a new load, so we'll click yes. So to show you that the loads 
were already loaded on the tank we can show you the static load case you know, the loads display so we can see that the loads were already distributed on the whole tank